Now you guys are watching part two of this, which is the mounting. I did the mounting after I did the wiring. Most people, I think, would do it the other way. I think. Here's the mount. She's an absolute gem. I uh, took some measurements because I did end up going to buy some new hardware. So that's what you see me doing right here. Alrighty guys, we're going to turn the truck around here and we're going to get to her. Now, you could use the WD-40, but I really do like PB Blaster better. It's uh, a rust penetration spray. Works pretty good. Step one is removing the black plastic skid plate underneath the truck. My apologies guys, there's a lot of different size sockets on here and I don't remember every, each and every one of them, so... Sorry I can't provide that information for you. Guys, those two rubber flaps on the side of the trucks uh, will go back underneath there once you remove the shroud. Now we're removing the tow hooks. There's a bolt on the bottom, and then there's a uh, bolt in the side. And if I remember right, that was like a met. I used a metric 18. And you want to grab that with either a wrench or like a crescent wrench or something. Adjustable wrench. There's the bolt. Eating rust. So what you're watching us do is, uh, I asked my wife to come out and help me. It's really helpful if you have two sets of hands. We slide that front plate underneath the truck and then we slide it up onto the jack and then we jack that thing up into place. And then get the bolts in there. So there it's going up underneath. Okay, so you just flip the side up. I'm going to pause you right there. There's two brackets on the back of that plow mount. And what they do is there's two holes in that crossbar that goes underneath the truck. There's two holes, right? Those uh, prongs in those plates go through those holes. 
and then you put bolts or nuts on the back side of them and then you turn them you turn them up because there's that stabilizer bar that goes across the bottom they kind of like there's grooves in those plates and they go up right inside that uh, bar that goes across and then do the do the two bottom bolts Some crucial things to make this mount successful is to keep everything loose until the very end and then tighten things up. Also one thing you didn't see me do is I did cut uh, notches out of that with an angle grinder. I used a small thin cutting wheel and I cut some notches in those tow hook slots on the plastic in the front just to give me some room to drive in to mount the to mount the plow. Thanks again you guys for watching the mounting process of the Hineker on the Chevy 2500. Really appreciate all the support guys. If you have questions or comments go down below and uh, let me know what you think or what your questions are. I really would appreciate hearing from you guys. So as always guys God bless. Make it a great day.